If you drive in the city, chances are you've noticed it bad traffic. Some say it's actually worse than ever. We've told you construction projects and alternative routes are contributing factors, but our Tara Molina looked closer and learned construction is not the only reason you're spending more time behind the wheel. Packed streets and brake lights. Traffic is normal at any time here in the city, of course, but experts agree it's worse right now. Partially because more people are driving themselves into the city or taking ride shares just to avoid our public transit. And stressful. And frustrating. Like so many others, Talia Alouche has been spending more time sitting in traffic, more time stuck on Chicago streets. Especially on Fridays, too. I'm coming home from work, getting off the highway, just trying to get home. And while she was never a train commuter, she says she has a few friends joining her in the daily traffic jam that used to rely on the CTA. They've expressed that they've become more uncomfortable, so people would rather walk. People would rather drive. Enter downtown alderman Brendan Riley. In a way, I'm glad to see the traffic. It means folks are coming back to work. Uh, the concern is how they're coming back. Everyone's driving, and that's because there's a lack of faith in, in the safety and security of the CTA. Riley told us reliability issues with our public transit factor in, too. The amount of curbside pickup drop-off going on in the Central Business District is unprecedented. And I would say that's directly linked to, to our problems that we're having with public transit. Take a look at the numbers. In 2019, pre-pandemic, more than 200 million train trips on the L. Those numbers took a deep dive for a few years. But now, they're still less than half of what they were, with just over 100 million train trips last year. So what's being done to change that and to address everything contributing to downtown gridlock? Riley says there are private conversations happening on the city level addressing increased traffic. The responses we got from those city departments lacked any real detail. A spokesperson for the Chicago Department of Transportation told us they're working right now to quote, coordinate activities and projects impacting the public way and minimize the impact of traffic delays. A spokesperson for the city's emergency management office told us they host meetings weekly to quote, discuss the pending and upcoming projects and how it might affect traffic. And we need CDOT and OEMC to help contribute to the solution here. And that means getting involved you know, hands on with uh, some proactive uh, traffic management. You can find more information from all of the city departments we reached in reporting this story. It's up on our website right now. Reporting downtown, I'm Tara Molina, CBS 2 News.